normal or our average overnight low. Yeah, I like yeah. how you fix those words. I'm trying words. to f fix the terminology. Honestly, I'm paying attention. There's a whole debate in the meteorology community. I think they normal they versus work. average. They work yes, for us. But, but um, yes, it was cold, and uh, we were just talking about the sunset, which not to harp on it, but I was driving home yesterday through North Conway, and it was like maybe 3:15, and the shadows start getting oh, long, and you're deep. like, whoa, yeah. it's it's, it's wild. Like, is it seven? No. Nope. Yeah, because in the summer you're like, I, maybe we'll have lunch. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's so done with the day now. Um, 20s this morning, teens yeah. in a lot of spots. We end up, or we're about to end up, in the mid-30s for highs. So, you know, we've got a lot of sunshine out there that feels nice. We'll take it. We talked about this trade a little bit last week. Um, but it is on the cool side, only 30 in Rangeley, 29 in Greenville. Satellite looks good. We do have some clouds into down east Maine and northern Maine. Uh, flip the... <laughs> those weird hand motions <laughs> northern Maine and down east Maine how about that but most of us nice and bright through the rest of today sun does set uh, in Bangor I think it was 4 10 4 9 today so won't be too long we got a little disturbance coming through that's going to try to catch up with this low that's way off the coastline so it's kind of get sucked into it this happens a lot with winter storms we call it phasing when one system kind of combines with another one. This won't happen until it's way out over the ocean, but it's moving this system towards us. That being said, from when I last looked at this Friday midday or so to now, it looks like there's a lot less moisture with this little system coming through. I originally thought we could get a coating to an inch. I think it'll be even less than that as it comes through tonight. So there it is getting sucked into the southern western part of the state later on this evening. Certainly it's cold enough for snow, so anything that happens will be able to stick to all the surfaces quickly. I just don't think there's a ton of moisture here. So through tomorrow morning, same deal. Isolated flurry. We're able to try to clear out in the afternoon. Temperatures more into the low and even mid 40s. So doing a little bit better temperature wise when compared to today. We'll roll straight through into Wednesday here and we're going to try to gradually improve these temperatures. Notice uh, Wednesday afternoon we're into the mid 40s with a lot of sunshine. So we will get quite a bit of sun this week, which is really helpful when the daylight hours are kind of short. And then uh, we'll increase temperatures Wednesday, but more so into Thursday and Friday. That says temperatures are able to get into the 50s. So as far as tonight goes, lots of donuts here. But where you see the blue, that's where you could see a quick dusting or coating of snow. There's not much to be had grasping at something there. There's that little disturbance moving away with the low. High pressure builds in for the rest of the week. We get into the warm sector Thursday and Friday. So those days are mild, but I mean, Temperature expectations here. It's not like we're talking 70s <laughs> this time of the year. Mild is 50s, so we'll do that on Thursday and Friday. And then this low is going to try to catch up with this cold front. And guess when it's going to happen? Saturday. Perfect. Temperatures peak through Friday and then go back down Saturday, Sunday. Much colder for the second half of the weekend. So there's the high. Remember that low we were just talking about? Wait for it trying to phase with this cold front right over us on Saturday, which could be either rainy or really rainy. I think that's what we're looking at here. We should be able to clear out for Sunday, but it's going to be quite breezy and cooler on the back end the second half of the week. Something to watch um, into next week. I don't usually like to go with this far, but keep in mind that we're talking about uh, travel. It could be something that the day before Thanksgiving or the day before that. So we'll keep an eye on that because it's busy. Not the busiest travel day of the year. Don't let anybody say that. It's not true. It's like a random day in July, believe it or not. Weekends yeah, in July. Right. Yeah. yeah, but it's a busy one. No, no doubt about that. So at this point, it looks rainy on Saturday. Hopefully we can at least get the second half of the weekend in there, but it will be breezy and coolish. Uh, but yeah, you know what? There is a lot of sun, so I'll give it that because we definitely need right. that. In November. Yeah, it's really just the one day Saturday that maybe right. <laughs> just, just, just your Saturday. <laughs> Sorry about that. But you remember Tuesday you know, would be last nice. week I was like, I'm not loving next weekend. Like mm -hmm. it's one of those where like the pieces we, are coming. Yeah, if yeah. we can get half of it, that's good. All right, Keith, thanks.